chorus, like in my piano. This is going to be our anchor chorus from the Amazing and Genius. I do hope everybody's doing well. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Ah, come here, come here, slippery chorus. These are the Nightmare Before Christmas, and I have already pre-shuffled them. Let's see what we can get for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And remember to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Okay. We got Nine of Pentacles here. That could be you. Doesn't have to be. There's something in your past here, Taurus, that was your um, Two of Cups. It was love in all forms. Let's see what this Knight of Presence is. That's somebody who's messy and lazy and doesn't want to take the initiative. That's what I want to say. Okay, let's see what the Knight of Presence is about. What is this person not taking the initiative on? And it looks like love, Pisces, being fair. Okay, Nine of Wands. I do feel like somebody owes somebody else an apology here. An apology for being a player. Somebody needs to be fair about this situation. Like I said, it could be somebody you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be you. Three of presents. This is some, this is working together. This is collaboration. This is something that um, you're going to have to take the initiative or somebody's going to have to take the initiative to get going and 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 this is a very guarded situation but it is balanced it's something that you walked away from that was actually a gift from the universe like i said when i say you i could be talking to a cross watcher aquarius hope choices marriage let's keep going wow okay Looks like somebody just got hurt. Brand new start. Gemini energy. Okay. Wow. All right. King of Pentacles on the bottom. So somebody here is very successful, very well-to-do. And this Aquarius here. Seeing you as an option. Maybe an option for a spiritual connection or a marriage. Alright. There's hope here. There's definitely hope. But somebody's really guarded because they got hurt by this addiction or toxic situation that kept them trapped so somebody walked away and left the other one not feeling too chipper okay but that's because whatever this was is a karmic completion okay we have temperance Somebody is trying to balance themselves enough to come forward, but they're scared of this love. They're scared. They don't know what to do, but they want that brand new beginning. Just be careful you don't turn into a fool and walk, up, walk off that cliff there, Taurus. Okay? Whatever it is that you're scared of is going to be a balanced situation. Gemini energy. Okay, the Capricorn, you, Devil, and Pisces on the board. You could be dealing with any of those signs. Sagittarius, yeah. 
Aquarius. I guess major arcana is here. Let's see what, what this walking away or leaving things behind. Maybe possibly in the past. Let's see what the Eight of Cups or the Eight of Potions is about. Ooh. Somebody is ready to fight. Here is the Leo energy. Somebody here is ready to fight for what they want. They're walking away from that. What they're using your, their intuition to walk away from something that isn't good for them. Could be this addiction, or you know something of that manner. But they're fighting it one way or another. They're fighting it, and I do feel like it's a situation. <coughs> excuse me, of codependency. Maybe drinking a little too much. Yeah, it's a good possibility. Ace of Presents. What is this gift? This new understanding about finances. Somebody stuck. Again, stuck with a child, maybe. Let's see. Yeah. This past situation has definitely been fought over. And there are three kings on the board. Mind you, there is the options. There is the um, seven of cups options. You have many choices here, Taurus, to take that next step to get yourself unstuck. But I do feel like there might be a younger energy here. We've got definitely a difference of age. Could be somebody that's really young. Like in their 20s. And then maybe you're a little bit older. I'm feeling like 10 years. As much as 10 years difference here. And this was a past situation that you fought about. You tried to win. But I think this Queen of Swords won. Could be an Aquarius or a Gemini. I think they won. Because there, it, it seems like this person is not looking back. This person is not looking back at all. Two of Cups, message coming in. And we have two more Kings. So three masculine energies that are quite prominent in this reading. Do you know which one is your Two of Cups, Taurus? Because this is coming in pretty quick. And this is a King of Cups, Knight, King of Wands, and a King of Pentacles. So this is the whole package, all in one. Passion, love, and stability is coming into your life. That's awesome. Considering where you started, that's really awesome. I think you just had to drop something to get that. And, and I think you did. Eight of Cups, Five of Swords, I think you dropped it and you're, you're willing to fight for it. Now we have Pisces on the board and Leo. So, could be dealing with any of these signs, guys. Or it's just the energy. Yeah. Got six of pentacles on the six of pentacles. Got the five of pentacles. Got the Aquarius. Got Pisces. Wow. We're doubling up here. Leo. Six of wands. And the knight of swords. Somebody's doing some serious soul, soul, soul searching here, guys. Somebody's doing some serious soul searching. I don't know if it's you or the other party that you're involved with. But um, this whole situation don't rush in without thinking because we got the lovers twice. We got Gemini twice, we got Leo twice, and we have Pisces or Aquarius twice. We have Pisces twice too. So Reaping what you've sown or, or planting, harvesting what you planted kind of situation where 
you're trying to be fair to everyone involved. But somebody's going to get left out here. Somebody's going to get left out in the cold. And with this uh, toxic energy, I do feel like it might be an Aquarius. It was your hope. It was your wish. It was your dream. But there was something that you didn't know about. Something that scared you. That's why you had to try to find balance. So now I think you're fighting your way out of some kind of addiction or some kind of uh, past experience that left you in the Five of Pentacles energy. And you see the sun. You see what you want. You're going to get it. It's this lover. And somebody is going to send a message either way. Okay? Knight of Swords. Be careful what you wish for, Taurus. That's what I'm hearing. You just might get it. But it might be in the most unobvious place that you've looked. It's right there. Okay? It's right there. This lack mentality, this, this not having enough en energy, that is what's keeping you stuck. You are a winner here. I mean, it, by all accounts and uh, the way this motion is going, you are a very victorious. You are the winner here. I just don't think you can see it right now. Okay? That's what's hidden from you. Yeah, there's some deception here. Someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship. Whoever you're dealing with is in it for a good time, not a long time. And they will leave you out in the cold. Okay? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Because there is somebody here for you. This lover that you're not seeing. You're not seeing it. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So free yourself from whatever this toxic situation is that's gotten you stuck. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And come up out of this mess. Because it, it's, it's there for you. We got the sun here twice. In the same stack. And we got victory here a couple of times too, Taurus. So you're going to win. You just may have to put in a little more effort. Because this, this immature energy of this Knight of Wands twice. Has really taken you for a ride. Really. And I think... That's why you feel the five of pentacles. You feel left out. Heart with a key. Welcoming love. Meeting one. Opening your heart and getting together. Perfect. Okay. So what it, whoever this person is. Could be a Pisces. Could be an Aquarius. That you don't see. Is ready to welcome you. Talking. Interested. Conversing more, awaited messages arrives, text call, email hovering. Yeah. I think you're going to get an un unexpected text message. Feeling that real strong about somebody that you didn't even think was your type. And I think it's going to help you to free yourself from this situation. Because you were stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking attack. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody put on a front here and made themselves, uh, they deceived someone in some way. Now, I don't know, like I said, take what resonates. You got to take it how it comes, you know, on, on your, you know, and you got to take accountability if you're the one that was being deceptive, Taurus. I'm just saying, you know, if you're the one that was 
doing this because you wanted a, a different kind of energy in your life and it caused, you know, you to not pay attention to the deception that's going on, then if you got ghosted, that's why. But if this isn't you, and this is somebody that you're dealing with very closely. I mean, look at this. This lady is literally picking that man's pockets. Okay? She's literally taking while the other one keeps him distracted. So you could be dealing with two people. And they're trying to take everything you got. Be careful of that. Just because it looks good doesn't mean it is good. All right? We got release. Let go of the past. An ending that makes way for new opportunities. It is time to move on. We have the nine of spring. Protect the fruits of your labors. Yeah, don't let anybody get in your pockets, Doris. Prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead. There's going to be some environment changes ahead. So Spirit is warning you of that and telling you to stay steadfast in your knowing. There's going to be big changes up ahead, guys. I am an astrologer and I do know what's coming. So... Keep your arms and legs inside the ride at all times. Children or childhood. The return of people or romances from your past. Remembering events differently. In a better or worse light. Than how they really occurred. Okay. So somebody. This is, this is the free yourself energy. Somebody is remembering this in a way that it wasn't. Regardless of who's involved. Okay. Somebody is deluding themselves of how this was really supposed to go. They were like not paying attention to the red flags, not plan paying attention to the things that were being said. Two of winter. Indecision is holding you back. There's your stuck energy. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional world. Like I said, immature energy. I don't know if this is a actual child. Could be. But Taurus, I don't think you're going to be able to think your way out of it. I think you're going to actually have to make that decision that's best for you rather than trying to make everybody else happy. Okay? Let's see what we can get from the Hidden Realms here. Do you have for my Tauruses? We have the fire prince upright and the resting tree in reverse. Patience and stillness. I think we're having an issue with patience right now, Taurus. Something that happened about this time last year. We have the fire prince in revert, or, or upright, so that is an ally, which is a good thing, especially for that card. And that number of that card is 111, so this is a pretty important message. 
When the fire prince ride, arrives in your, as your ally, he lets you know that he represents the invisible forces behind all manner of manifestation, and it brings you the gift of optimism. You will be rightly inspired to move forward and take confident and assertive action to reach your goal. Envisioning the path of the highest good with an optimistic outlook, outlook the fire prince also brings you a gift of a miracle. Things come together as if by magic to create the reality you seek. You have every reason to be hopeful. Move forward knowing that you have everything you need and more. Just remember to share the enthusiasm, believe in others, and be optimistic for them too. And your good fortune will multiply. Okay? That pretty much says it all about this reading. You know, you've got to give others credit too for whatever they put in and you need to let go of the past here. This could even be old childhood memories that you need to let go of and let, let your life blossom into something else that, that's going to be much, much better for you, okay? Well, that's all I have for you, Taurus. I will see you guys next time. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.